All right, so this is going to be a Amazon item review of this car electric cup portable mini uh, water heater boiler thing. All right, so I actually filled this one with water already. Um, I actually have two, so here you can see there's an air hole on top. This is for when you boil it. You can't actually drink out of that hole, so keep that in mind. It's only for letting the steam out when you heat it up. All right, it's a double layered uh, vacuum cup so it's actually insulated okay 350 milliliters um, all right close the cover and boil water all right one click boiling water so here you can see um, this is the 12 volt version so it's for plugging into your car cigarette lighter port all right 350 milliliters I measured this with um, a measuring cup to the fill line it's about a cup and a half okay 80 watts uh, 50 hertz. Okay, not that any of that matters. Oh, then they have the product dimensions there. All right, and here you go. Inside here we have the light green one. All right, and yeah. All right, so the way they package it, they have this pull tab. Open this up. It comes in this bubble wrappy thing here, like this. Okay, so that comes out. This comes out. Then inside here, they have the cable here. All right, I already unpacked one. So the cable is the cigarette lighter port or the car 12 volt accessory port. And it has this three plug thing. Um, I don't know how this plug works because it's DC um, and there's no ground. So I don't know why there's three prongs. I'm assuming it only uses the two outer ones, but I'm not sure. Okay. And then there's this little instruction manual booklet. Um, I'm gonna actually plug this in my car and I'm gonna use a um, infrared or thermal uh, imaging like laser gun thingy to see the temperature and how quick it goes up. Right here you can see, all right, you can read all of this on your own. I kind of basically, you just plug it in and then turn it on. Um, I don't think you're supposed to submerge this or throw it in the dishwasher, so hand wash it just to be safe. All right, and here you go. Okay, so I'm going to move to my car now, plug this in, and we'll see how long it takes to heat up and um, how hot the water gets. It's supposed to go to boiling, so if that's the case, then that means it will go to 100 degrees Celsius. And yeah. All right, so I'm going to go to the car, and I'll see you guys there. Um, if you're wondering... The price at the time of purchasing this was $28.79 plus tax, so just about um, $30 or so. All right. Hmm. Actually, I'm a little confused here. 30, 60, 63. Huh. Yeah, I'm a little confused here. How does this work? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah, 57 plus the tax. Wait, 63, and then why does it say I paid 79.38? I don't know if they're including another item that I purchased here separately, but these two, I guess, was 62, uh, 62.98. All right, anyways, let's move to the car. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm in the car now. As you can see, we got this plugged in. You want to make sure it's plugged in all the way. Looks like there's no light or indicator or anything to tell you that it's plugged in. So hopefully powering this on will do that. Yes, it does. Okay, so that lights a blue. The only thing with this, because the plug goes down there, as you can see, if your cup holder doesn't have like an opening to the side, then you wouldn't be able to put this in. Like if you put this here, it, you see that? Like how are you gonna put that? <laughs> but anyways, um, I probably should have taken a picture of or checked the temperature of the water first. Let's see here. So we have I have this thermal gun here. You can see. Water is 59.8, oh, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see the bottom is getting warmer. It's turning green. Okay, so if I go to the side of the water, let's see, 65 degrees, 67. If I look at the floor of my car or the area of my car, you can see it's 70 something degrees. So the water inside this cup is much colder. Okay, about 65. And we'll wait a while and see how long it takes to heat this thing up. So right now it's 5.59 p.m. Okay. 
I don't know if this thing shows a time. Oh, it does show on here. I need to fix the time on this. It says 4.22 p.m. So I'm going to fix the time on this thing, and then we'll see. But you can see the water's already almost 70 degrees. Um, and yeah, I'll be back once I fix the time on this thing. All right, I'll be back. All right, um, I just set that to 6.01. You can see 6.01 right now. Okay, so we're going to go back, and let's take a look at the temperature now. You can see the water's 80 degrees or 79 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're wondering what that is in Celsius, let me do that. Too bad I can't do both at the same time. 26.2 Celsius, okay? So I'm going to leave it in Fahrenheit because that's what I'm more familiar with. Um, and yeah, the only thing I know what Celsius is once it reaches boiling. So anyways, you can see it's 80 degrees now, okay? And you can see the time 601. So we started around 559. So it's been about two minutes. And you can see the temperature of the water is already getting close to 80 degrees. You can see the bottom of that's getting warm. And you can actually see the heat down there. Let me see, is it gonna focus on the water down there? It doesn't want to focus on it. There you go. You can see like the heat waves coming out down there. Outside of this bottom is a little bit warm, probably from all the electricity flowing through. Let me actually close this because I'm making it take longer to heat. Um, you can actually start the lid anywhere, but uh, I think, but the way they line it up is usually with this facing towards that. But again, it doesn't really matter, all right? Let me pick this up here. It's a little bit warm down here. Okay, we are supposed to leave this open while boiling water so it doesn't like build up air pressure in there okay and let's see here let's see if you can see so you can see at the bottom of the cup it's warm a lot warmer okay let me see if I use the laser thing to point at what I'm okay and then if I go up here it's like 70 okay so let me see if I take it out of the cup holder and look at this again more close to the bottom Okay, yeah, you can see that's about 80 degrees, and then up here is like 70, so it's like a 10 degrees Fahrenheit difference from the bottom of it, because that's where the heating element is. Let's go ahead and open this up again, take a look, and you can see the water's already 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, it's already warm. <laughs> So it's it's heating relatively quick, I'd say. Okay. Leave that open. All right. You can see 6.03 p.m. All right. So that's been about five minutes, right? 59, 60. Actually, four minutes. So, okay, now it's 6.04. Okay, yeah. So basically five minutes. So in about five minutes, we went from, what, about 60 degrees all the way 60 Fahrenheit to 95 Fahrenheit. So it's pretty good. It's already almost like body temperature warmth. So that's like a, actually it's already over body temperature warmth. It's hitting like 100. So it's heating pretty quick now. And yeah, it's like, I know it's gross. I'm sticking my finger in the water, but it's okay. You're not drinking it. I just want to feel what it feels like warm like temperature wise all right so we'll let it go a bit longer and we'll see what happens how long until it starts boiling and if it's gonna like boil boil you can see that's still on there that thing's still getting warm down there a bit okay oh even that's getting to like 90 so you can probably use that as a hand warmer and then up here is like in the 70s Okay, all right, actually below 70 at the top of the lid, down here. Okay, anyways, we're gonna let it heat a bit more and we'll be back. All right, 606. Also, if you're wondering, the material outside kind of feels like um, cheapy plastic. I was hoping this would be rubbery for like better grip, but it looks like all of this is plastic, if you're wondering. The button, the button is like, Actually, the button's also plastic and has a blue light there. 
right? My camera's flash or my phone's flash is on. So yeah, this is rubbery and stretchy and you can probably get your hand through it if your hand's small enough. For me, it's tough, so I'm not gonna try and stretch it out to do that because it might tear that, I don't know. Anyways, then of course this lid is rubbery. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, looks like I have a customer here. So I might have to stop this test. You can see it's bubbly at the bottom. And here you can see it's about 116 degrees. It really depends where it checks. So it's going like 119, 120, depending on where. Okay, so let me go from a side angle here. All right, anyways, you can see it is 6.07 p.m. So yeah, and leaving this open is making it take longer to cool. So keep that in mind. It's already pretty warm, the water here. As you can see with the bubbles, it's nice and warm. It's like bath water temperature. <laughs> Anyways, I'll let this sit a bit longer and I'll be back, all right? I have a customer here, so let me go talk with them real quick. All right, took longer than I thought with my customer. They're actually still out there. It's 6.14 now. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's been basically about 15 minutes, so it should be almost boiling. I actually see steam coming out, and you can see here, 157 or so, 158 Fahrenheit. All right, you can do the calculation for what it is in Celsius, 159, 160-ish. All right, so I'm going to close it up again, and yeah, but it looks like it's working well. And me leaving it open and stuff, like I said, made it take longer than it should have, so I might have to redo a test. <laughs> I'll redo a test later with clean uh, cold water again, and then I'll leave it closed this time and just see how long it takes. All right, so I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to finish up with my customer. All right, so it sounds like it's boiling. It's uh, 619, so 20 minutes later. Let's open this up and take a look. You can see it's getting small bubbles. Ooh, steamed up the camera. All right, let's see the temperature. I don't know how accurate that is, but uh, okay, it's showing 180 something. 180 or so yeah I don't know how accurate it is if I go from an angle or if I go from straight on top you can see the temperature kind of varies a lot depending on like that 184 okay but uh, it is like boiling hot I'll probably let's see if I burn myself Ooh, it's super hot. It's nice. Okay, so I think that's about good. I mean, you can leave it on until it shuts itself off. Okay. So we got that. And we can take this out. You can see the light's still on. It's like boiling. Okay, but again, this is only a cup and a half of water. So it's not um, a super large amount. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're mixing it with other stuff, you can probably use it to dissolve whatever like coffee or something in it and then just have like room temperature water to mix with it so it's a comfortable drink drinking temperature. That way you end up with more than just a cup and a half of liquid. But um, yeah, it looks like after 20, now 21 minutes, I think if I left it alone with the lid closed, it would probably be about here within 15 minutes. We'll see. I'll try it again. Um, but I'll let it go until until it turns the light off just to see till it turns the power light off just to see how much like boiling it it's doing or how hot it's getting. So let me leave this open so I can use this kind of as a table here and then you can see the light. But um yeah, it's still on. I don't know when it will automatic turn off. It says it does. Um but right now it's not really like pushing this out like from steam. So, yeah, we'll give it a bit more time, and we'll be back. All right, 621, and the light actually just turned off. I heard, like, a click sound, so it turned itself off. So it doesn't go to, like, a super high rolling boil, but 
as you saw earlier how I showed it, it was kind of boring like that with the small bubbles. Let me turn it, see if it turns back on or not. Okay, so when I press it once, you can see it won't turn on at all anymore. So, so I don't know how it knows when it's done or not. Anyways, I don't know how it knows to stay off. Here you can see, 186, 187 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, it really depends. Yeah, I don't know how it detects the temperature here, but uh, it is super hot. Maybe I'll make a hot chocolate in here, and we'll see. Okay, um, I'm going to pour some hot chocolate in here, and then I'll drink that. But again, like I was saying, you can't really use this as a drinking spout because there's, there's no air to go back out. That's also a good thing because then you don't dirty the lid. Um because it seems like it might be difficult to clean. I don't know what this tiny hole is that's here. Maybe that's so if it's going to explode like from not from this being closed, um it will maybe release steam through this little hole so it doesn't get too high pressure. Um but anyways, I mean it turns itself off, so I don't think that's a possibility as you can see. All right? I hope that means it turned itself off and it's not that the um that the fuse or what do you call the the fuse for that hopefully that didn't blow but you can see like it's not doing anything now okay so i'm gonna see what happens i'm gonna pour the water out i'm gonna put some cool water back in here and we'll see if it turns back on all right i'll see you guys in a bit all right so i actually heard a click sound come from the cup again so i think that means it uh enabled itself again to start heating up so i'm gonna plug this back in sorry <laughs> okay i'm gonna plug this back in and the top is pretty much watertight so even though i'm turning it on its side it's not really spilling out i don't know where that or actually is it spilling out where that yeah no it's not spilling out i don't know how i got those water droplets on me maybe from opening and closing it over and over anyways here we go let's open this lid up again take a look at the temperature and then we'll see about turning it back on. Right now, I, I think I left the switch in off mode. Okay, you can see the temperature here. It's still like 180. Um, I'm also going to do a test to see how long it holds the temperature. So I'm going to leave it for like two hours and then check the temperature again. Just so you can kind of see. i got to be careful moving this. Okay, let's see if it turns back on. And yes, it does. Okay, so I don't know how it determines when it's done or not. I guess when it reaches a certain temperature, it um, pops something internally that shuts it off. Okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to leave this for now. Once it shuts off, so I'm going to let it go again. I'm going to check the time once it shuts off. I'm going to leave it sitting for two hours in my car. So I'll come back right now. It's um, almost 6.30, so probably close to 8.30. You can hear it's already making sounds. hear it making some sounds all right so once it finishes once it shuts off again i'm going to start a timer for two hours then we'll come back and check the temperature again i'm going to check the temperature one time oops i need to leave this open oh see that <laughs> that pressure built up anyways i'm going to leave this open for now once this light goes off i'll check the time and then we will check the temperature i'll close it close the top here leave it for two hours and we'll check the temperature again because I'm curious how long the temperature holds, especially since this is warm. Like it's nice, it's a nice warm temperature. So if your hands get cold in the winter, this is actually nice. Um, but the thing with it being this warm makes me think that it's not as insulated as I was thinking. So we'll leave it in my car and we'll see. Um, but yeah, okay, so the light is still on and it's 629. I don't see much steam, if anything, coming from out here. It's not hot enough to burn my hand. But it is, like, making some steam come up. Okay. So, still 629. I want to make sure we get it right when it happens. So you can see. 
and you'll probably hear the click sound. Let me actually put this down here without the flash. You can see the blue ring. Okay. You can hear the sounds. 6.30 now. I think it should be almost done. I don't know if it goes based on a timer or based on the temperature. Because you'd think it'd already be at the, almost at the temperature where it would just shut off. So, yeah, I don't know if it goes based on the time or the temperature. Guess, oh, there you go. So it is based on the temperature. Still 630. So we'll come back at 830 um, and we'll check the temperature. Let me check the temperature one time while it's like this. Actually, I'm going to turn this off to make sure it doesn't start boiling itself again. Actually, just to be safe, I'll unplug it too, okay? So, I'll unplug this, and then we'll come back two hours later to check the temperature, okay? I wanna make sure that it's not turning itself back on while I'm out, so we can know for sure the temperature it started and the temperature it ended two hours later. Here you can see, 184, 185 almost, 186, 187, Okay, so anyways, I don't know how accurate this this measuring thing is, but uh, it's showing about 187 at the highest, I think, that I saw. Okay, most of it's being around 180 or so. All right, so we're going to leave this two hours. Close that up. We'll close this as well. We'll be back 8.30 or so. It's 6.31 now. Okay, so we'll be back, we'll be back at 8.30, and we'll take a look. All right, I'll see you guys then. All right, so I'm back late because I had a bunch of customers. You can see it's 8.50 now, so 20 minutes late. The outside of the cup is still a bit warm, so that means this cup probably doesn't insulate very well. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn this thing back on. We'll open it up, and we'll check the temperature of the water two hours later. You can see it's still unplugged. Okay. It's warm. Got 111 degrees, 110 degrees, okay? So it lost a lot of heat. It was like 180, 187 or something at the highest, I think, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna leave this another two hours and see how it does. Let me feel the water with my finger. You can see it's not even hot enough to burn my hand. I can leave my finger in there. That's only after two hours. So, I mean, it is still warm. It's a nice, warm, drinkable temperature but it's not like as hot as those vacuum sealable um, cups that you would expect. Okay, so that's one thing. I should compare it to my other um, vacuum seal cups that I have. Maybe I'll do that. I'll get a side-by-side -side comparison because I do have some, some of those, uh, whatever you call these travel tumbler vacuum whatever thingies. Um, and I'll put some hot water in there and see how hot that stays in comparison. Um, because this one, it might be more designed just so you can heat up your water, but not so much to keep your water that hot for that long. But to be fair, two hours, the car is 53 degrees Fahrenheit, as you can see. So it is cold in here. <clears throat> All right. But like I'm saying, um, I don't know if you can see that a lot of heat is coming out from the cup. So it's not a very good insulated vacuum seal all right anyways we'll see but uh two hours and it lost a lot of the temperature the heat already so yeah i mean it's a nice warm comfortable temperature that i would drink like hot chocolate or something um but beyond that i think if i leave it another hour or two it's not going to be that warm that it's going to be nice um and this is uh sitting in my car no wind blowing on it it's just sitting here so it's just losing temperature from the ambient air okay but it is cold in here like i said 50 degrees fahrenheit um if you left your if you were actually driving and had your car heater running so it's like 70 degrees in your car then it'll probably stay a lot warmer longer but yeah keep that in mind all right so far two hours 20 minutes and it's down from 187 to like 110, 111. Okay. Anyways, I'll be back probably in another hour or so. Let's say 
9.30. We'll check the temperature again. I have a feeling it's going to be around 80 degrees, but we'll see. All right, see you guys then. All right, so it's now basically 9.30, so three hours later. Um, outside, still a little warm, actually. Okay, you can actually see in this thing. The outside is like 65 degrees and in the car below 50 okay you can see it's 48 degrees outside let's open this up let's see what temperature we got in the water still warm and steamy all right actually we still got 90 close to 100 98 99 all right almost 99 degrees fahrenheit there you go 99 so, not too bad. Um, it's been three hours in this 50, 50 degree um, ambient air. So, no wind, nothing. Um, it would probably lose heat faster if you're holding onto it because your hands are colder and probably pull the heat away a lot more efficient than just the air sitting next to it. All right. So, yeah. Anyways, I don't know if I should leave it longer. 100 degrees. It's not scalding hot or anything. I could just drink it. Let me get this. I'm going to pull this out here. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. All right. And yeah, it's just like lukewarm right now. It's not even like super hot. But anyways, that's pretty much it for now. Um, a regular insulating cup will insulate a lot better. Um, what else? Mm, not much else to say it does heat relatively quick um, so if you are going to heat it maybe you can have a insulating cup on the side as an extra thing um, but yeah it would be kind of nice if instead of having like this cup they have a thing that you can just drop into your insulated cup and it just heats that like kind of like a heating element that you just drop in there uh, while it's plugged in and that thing gets super hot that will heat the water that would be kind of nice um, But yeah, anyways, it's off right now. We'll turn it back on heat it back up um, But yeah, I think that's it for this experiment. I don't know if there's anything else um, The price thing that I was talking about earlier for why it charged more um, there was another thing on my order that they didn't deliver yet and it doesn't show on that receipt but um, anyways, that's it for now. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's nice being able to heat up water in your car and have it there whenever you want. So if you're here and somebody wants hot water, you can heat it up while you're driving if you want to have hot water. If you want to make like a cup noodle or a instant soup bowl, um, you can do that. Um, I don't know if it will be a good idea to cook like food in here or anything um i think in something somewhere it said maybe it was for a different one but they said not to like put a egg in here but i'm pretty sure you can put like a boiling you can put an egg in here and let it boil in here the water doesn't go too crazy it's just if the egg explodes it's going to be a pain to clean up so if you are going to put an egg in here um i would maybe recommend putting uh some kind of plastic wrap around it um, so that way, that's what's touching the water. Maybe you can put it like in one of those uh, Ziploc um, bags and just lower it into the water and let the air kind of push its way out. And then you can use that to probably heat up some eggs. Um, but yeah, the water gets to, again, like 187 degrees Fahrenheit or something. It's not like a rolling boil, but it's like kind of the water's boiling a little on the bottom where it's touching. Um, so it's kind of like at the kettle, like a kettle where it starts like to boil on the surface of the metal around that temperature. If you stop it there, it is hot enough to make like a cup noodle or something. And I checked with an instant bowl of pho. Um, it needed only about one and a third cups of water. Um, and this thing boils, uh, one and a half cups of water. So it's enough water to make a cup of noodle thing. Um, and yeah, not really much else to say. Um, again, it does stay warm, so you can use it like a hand warmer if that's what you want. But, um, yeah, 
insulation wise i would say it doesn't keep it that hot um like if you're using this you'd probably want to drink it within the first hour and a half or so um right now where it's like 100 degrees um it's just like warm slightly warm water it's not like hot water okay so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys like this review hopefully this helped you decide whether you want to get something like this um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. All right, so I wanted to do one more test here. So I actually got this instant bowl of pho here. All right, we're going to pour the water in and see if it cooks within those three minutes. Um, I already took out all the packets because this isn't a video on how to make this bowl of <laughs> noodles. But I kind of wanted to see um, the hot water, okay, um, and how how it works with the soup all right so this one i just boiled this water in the car all right i didn't really give it time to cool down much so this is like right after where it's almost at its hottest temperature i drank a little bit earlier when it cooled down so we're gonna leave this here now and see how it does all right i'll leave this sitting for three minutes have these chopsticks I was using earlier. I made one where I microwave the water to heat it up. So this time I'm going to use this water and see how this goes. All right. I'm going to wait about three minutes and then I'll be back to test the noodles. Um, and there's a little water left and a little bit from that I sipped out. So it's not really much. This is almost a perfect amount for making these kinds of noodles and stuff. Um, I haven't tried with a regular cup noodle. I'm not sure how much water that needs, but again, this takes about a cup and a half. Um, I don't know what would happen if you fill it beyond the max fill line. Excuse me. If you filled it beyond the max fill line, you can see there's quite a bit extra space to fill beyond the max fill line. Um, I think if you filled it that high, you can probably get three cups in there, but then I don't know what will happen. It's probably going to end up steaming and bubbling out of the top here. Um, but yeah, this cup, um, it doesn't seem to be that well insulated. I'm going to try the green one. It could be maybe this one's defective. Um, and we'll see if that one insulates better. But uh, yeah, this cup, after about um, two hours or so, it lost quite a bit of um, heat. So yeah, anyways, we'll let this cook a bit longer and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. Alright, so it's been about three minutes. Let's open this up. And it looks like it cooked well, so it should be good. I mean, it just depends on how hot the water is. Um, it might need a little bit longer, but let's go ahead and pour the oil stuff on top. And I'm going to get a taste and see, because I'm pretty sure like this water doesn't exactly reach like completely boiling temperature. Because um, I don't see like rapid boiling going on. So it's not as hot as if you were to boil it in a regular kettle. But uh, let's go ahead and see. It's more like it boils it to like a really hot drinking temperature. All right. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead, go ahead now and give this a try. Stir in the oil. And let's see if it heated it up well enough. You probably have to leave it cooking a little bit extra long because it's not at the same full boiling temperature but it does seem to be good all right let's go ahead and give this a shot mm -hmm. all right this isn't a review of this noodle but it cooked well so you can definitely use this for instant noodles and stuff um but yeah again the bottle isn't as insulated as I was hoping for. Um, it's nice and warm if your hands are cold. But yeah, keep that in mind. If you're getting this as a way to heat up water, um, it does that okay. Um, but if you're doing it to use as a drinking cup and keep like a warm drink inside, um, you might want to transfer it to a better vacuum sealed uh, bottle. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Right, I'm actually testing the green one as well, 1042, right? This time I got it, oh, um, this closed, and I'm cheating because I set the temperature in the car to 70 degrees. 
So we'll see how much of a difference that makes. Okay, this time I'm gonna leave it closed until it shuts itself um, off. Oh, one thing I should do is check, show the temperature of the water in here. I'm curious if it's gonna still go cold just as fast, but here you can see the water right now, is 64, 65 in the car. It's actually 57 still. It's not actually 70 degrees. Well, I guess it depends what surface you're looking at. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to leave this off and we'll see how this does. I mean, leave the lid on with that open. Okay, we'll see how long it takes again. Now it's 1043. Okay. All right, so it's 1105 and it just shut itself off. So I think that's a little over 20 minutes. It shut itself off. I didn't do anything. All right. And let's see here. Water is showing. At one point it showed like 190 something. Here you go. 190. 191. Okay. Anyways, I have a feeling this is just as like insulated as the other one so it's not a really good insulation so I'm looking at maybe getting a good insulated bottle in, instead and then getting one of those um, immersion um, water heater things we'll have to see how that goes I'm gonna leave this for a couple hours and see how cold it gets but just the fact that I can feel the warmth out here normally with an insulated cup thing or bottle you can't really feel the heat or cold from the liquid inside on the outside. So that means the insulation on this isn't too great. I think if I left this a couple hours, it's going to be down to like like before, around 115, 110 degrees from the 190. So yeah, I mean in terms of heating up water and, and using it directly from these bottles, it works pretty well um, and it's nice. You can have a nice drink in here. You can put some coffee or whatever, heat it up, and then you can have a nice hot coffee inside the cup um, during your drive and then you can get more cold fluids or water, pour it in here, and you can make tea or noodles and stuff as you go. So it's nice because you can keep making more hot water as needed. Um, so if you're in your car a lot, constantly on the go or living out of your car or whatever, um, then this is kind of nice to have. Um, but for my use, it's probably not going to work too great um, because I was hoping it was more insulated that you can kind of heat it up once, carry it around, and then, um, yeah. Uh, so more like it heats it up while you're on your way to your destination. So that way you don't have to like heat up water beforehand, pour it in the, in the insulated thing, and then go. Um, so this way you can just put water, um, start heating it while you drive. So if you have like a 15 minute commute or something, it should be already super hot. Um, but I was hoping it would stay really hot. So if using this, you'd basically end up having to pour this into another insulated thing after you heat it up, which kind of makes it why you have to carry two separate bottles. Um, so one thing I was thinking is get an insulated cup or uh, bottle and then use an immersion uh, heater thing. I was trying to find a better quality one. All of them look to be not too great quality. Um, but anyways, we'll see. I have a feeling I'm going to end up going that route, especially since this can only hold a cup and a half of liquid, which is not too much. The other um, insulated thing bottles, I can carry like 32 ounces or I can put as much as I want. I can put less and then just use it with the immersion thing filled up to the however high and yeah it seems like it makes more sense that way um, but I have been reading with those immersion um, heating things for the cars that the cords get too hot and melt or they damage the cigarette lighter port which will be really bad so I don't know we'll have to see what I decide to do um, maybe I can get like an extension cigarette lighter port a short one so that way if it does melt it'll melt that and not the cars one because if I melt the car one, that's going to really suck. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And yeah, maybe I'll come back in two hours, check the temperature of this, and then compare it. But it's probably going to be the same results as last time. Except right now, I'm, I have the temperature set warmer, so it's not as cold in here as last time. Alright, uh, let's see if I can show you here. See, 62. 
60. Before it was showing like 50. Yeah, it's about 70 degrees in here. It depends where. Like if you're going to like where the heat's actually coming out, you can see it's like 85. So yeah, we'll leave this about two hours and then we'll come back. I know I keep ending the video and saying bye. I'll see you in the next one. And then it's all in one video. But uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Two hours from now, unless I pass out because it's already 11, um, 1 a.m. ish, I'll be back and we'll check the temperature again. All right. See you guys then. Bye. All right. So it's now 1240. I'm going to actually just check this now. So about an hour, 40 minutes or so. I have this thing plugged in actually charging, but uh, you can see it's at 130, okay, 136, still pretty hot, so over an hour and a half later, let's see, it's not, well actually that's pretty hot, but it's not like scalding hot, um, so yeah, this is probably like comfortable to drink actually, let me this a try. Yeah, that's like a nice temperature for drinking water. So I'd say about um hour and a half or so, two hours, it should be okay. But I think beyond two hours, it's probably goes down to where it's not like at that really hot pleasant um to drink temperature it's more like warm so really depends how hot you like your drinks um but this is again my car was being keeping warm a bit if i wait 20 more minutes it's still going to be pretty hot but that's because i kept the temperature of the car around 70 or so um, so if you're, but if you're constantly staying at a colder temperature, um, because I can feel like a lot of the warmth out here, yeah, it's likely not going to work so well. And yeah, the amount of water that you can keep in here, only about, um, a cup and a half or so. So it's not too much. Um, I bought some insulated bottles that are 32 ounces. I think that's about four cups or something um but yeah anyways that's quite a bit more i'm gonna try with a immersion water heater to see how that does um of course because it's four cups it's probably gonna take a lot longer to heat but the insulation might actually help with that process so we'll see but that immersion heater is gonna take a while for me to get i'll make a video of that later probably won't be until i get back or we'll see probably sometime late January because I think it's going to take like a month for that thing to deliver but we'll find out all right anyways see you guys later bye